Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Malware Protection Engine Zero Day. Over the weekend, a well-known security researcher, one of the Google Project Zero researchers, Tavis Ormandy, had a Twitter post that claimed that there was a crazy serious vulnerability in Windows that one of his fellow researchers, Natalie, found. Now, at the time, they didn't give any details about this. He basically just said it's a major remote root code execution vulnerability, and he claimed it would be wormable, meaning that uh, bad guys could create malware that would automatically exploit this vulnerability. And Ormandy shared a little bit of information, but really nothing technical, no details about it. That said, some people mentioned that there really is no point in sharing anything about new vulnerabilities until they're patched. However, that's where the rest of the story comes in. On Monday, Microsoft released an early security advisory fixing a critical vulnerability in their malware protection engine. This, of course, is the security engine that runs in their antivirus or anti-malware products. Long story short, Natalie found a remote code execution vulnerability in the way uh, the malware protection engine parses specially crafted files. To put it in perspective, if an attacker sends you a specially crafted file, they could exploit this vulnerability to gain full system uh, privilege on computers that run this particular malware protection engine. So those are things like Windows Defender and, and other things like that. So it's a very serious vulnerability, but Microsoft actually turned around a fix for this in record time, fixing it only a few days after the Twitter post where Ormandy mentioned the flaw existed. Now, of course, that's the big story today, and your obvious takeaway is to go and get the patch for this particular vulnerability. Check out that security advisory. But on top of that, we might as well point out that today is also patch day. Microsoft, Adobe, and Cisco all release security updates fixing a number of vulnerabilities. Now, Microsoft no longer does individual security bulletins. Rather, they just post a pile of patches, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to figure out all the details. But long story short, they released a bunch of patches for Internet Explorer, Windows Office that fix countless vulnerabilities. So if you're a Microsoft user, you definitely want to go and get those updates. If you're an Adobe user, they released a couple of patches as well. The most important one is fixes to Adobe Flash. And finally, by the way, if you're a Cisco user, especially someone that uses Cisco switches, Cisco released updates to fix the vulnerabilities that leaked in the recent uh, CIA Vault 7 leak. So, long story short, there was a zero-day vulnerability in malware protection engine, but you can go get the patch. If you're a Windows user or a Microsoft user, go get those updates. If you use Adobe Flash, go get those updates. And finally, if you're a Cisco user, update the iOS on your switches. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.